So there's been a couple stories over the last 48 hours that I think really highlight what garbage humans the right-wing politicians and news media are and how they're going all in and profiting off of COVID and vaccine misinformation. First, this article from the Daily Beast shows just how absurd and full of scare tactics the GOP has gotten with their fundraising emails since Biden announced the vaccine mandate on the 10th. I mean, they really go all out with these. We will sue Biden to end his authoritarian vaccine mandates. We are calling every patriot to step up and help fund our efforts. Are you going to join us or will you sit on the sidelines? Please donate $45. Or my personal favorite, you must step up right now and fund our efforts against Biden to end his evil vaccine mandate or all will be lost. I never want to hear from people on the right again that somebody like AOC is fear mongering about climate change because I've gotten a lot of fundraising emails from her and never, not once, did she ever end it with donate to me or all will be lost. But we haven't even gotten to the worst part yet. According to four GOP strategists, they're telling their candidates to lean heavily into anti-COVID mandate messaging, viewing it as perhaps the winning issue with conservatives and the Trump base of voters. And on the media side of things, it's even worse. One Fox News insider described the anti-COVID mandate segments and vaccine-resistant commentary as great for ratings. Another current Fox employee said the numbers clearly demonstrate that there are vanishingly fewer subjects these days that get our viewers more excited or engaged than those kind of segments. But while Fox is enjoying its killer ratings and the GOP was making a ton of money off this grift, we got some damning numbers yesterday from Pew Research. In a piece in the Seattle Times called Red COVID, they go over just how deadly this misinformation around the vaccine has been for red counties and states. If you look at counties where Trump won at least 70% of the vote, the death toll since June has been 47 out of every 100,000 citizens. If you look at the opposite, counties where he won 32% or less of the vote, that number is 10 out of every 100,000, meaning people in heavily red parts of the country are almost five times more likely to die of COVID than people in blue parts of the country. Despite population density and all those other factors, almost five times more likely. But hey, Fox is getting great ratings and their war chest is full, so what do they give a shit, right? One other quick note, you know the frontline doctor people, the ivermectin people? Well, it turns out they had a data breach and they've been making a killing off pushing ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine, charging as much as $90 for a phone call. I'm sure they're not in it for the money. Bottom line, the GOP in its current form would kick a baby if it met just a little more money or power. So if you take one thing from this video, start getting involved for 2022 because you know everybody on their side already has.